as an international journalist, Jefferson Saki has been a globetrotting reporter for almost 10 years, covering armed conflicts, political upheavals, natural disasters, and hotspots around the world. All that field work served as a warm up for 2005, an extraordinary year that took him to the front lines in post conflict Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Rwanda, forever changing the view of his life and his career. My name is Jefferson Saki. I'm a broadcast journalist with Joy FM in Accra. I work as a senior international correspondent for the network and also the Midday News and Call. Correspondent for Dochi Vela Television and also CNN Worldview contributor. I'm also the Malta Guinness ambassador for the Africa Rising campaign. And today I'm in Freetown in Sierra Leone hanging out with the X Live crew. Traveling around the world as an international journalist, I've come to realize that news is when we tell the stories that matter most to our society. Being fair, being accurate, and being clear, no matter how critical or political the stories we tell are, development journalism is our agenda. Aside working for Joy FM and other international media houses, I also serve as a consultant for other corporate bodies. That means that I produce documentaries, do voiceovers, I'm also the CEO of Critical TV, a production house I put together back in 2005. We do productions here and there, and most of the jobs that we do are global productions, and documentaries on former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, documentaries about the United Nations, documentaries about the African Union, one or two documentaries for heads of states like um, Ellen Johnson Sally from Liberia, and, and those are the things that sometimes give you you know, the extra, extra dough, you know, to be able to survive in the system. Critical TV's Jefferson Saki traveled to the capital, Monrovia, to speak with Liberia's president, who is the first elected female head of state in Africa. Traveling with Africa's first elected female president on a UN chopper to Lofa, one of the biggest electoral areas, her popularity is evident. While I was growing up, there were great people that I looked up to in the media. I remember very well Tina Moses of Children's Own those days. I mean, little kids seeing her do her thing, you know, talking to children every evening at 6 p.m. It was one interesting thing that I loved watching and I wanted to be great as she was. Unfortunately, she's passed on at a point in time. But I also think that there were great men and international media like Jonathan Mann, like uh, Jeff Koenenger of CNN and I clearly remember when I started working as an international journalist back in 2004 and 5. He was one of those guys I met in Liberia and also in Sierra Leone, here in Sierra Leone as a journalist working for CNN and covering you know international stories. So those are the guys that actually motivated me and um, I am just thankful to God that at the end of the day if anything at all Sometimes I meet some of these great guys and I, I tell them my story and how they were actually motivating me, how their work around the world and all over the African continent were changing lives and you know, at the end of the day it's all about the people, right? You tell the story that is able to change the life of somebody and at the end of the day putting a smile on the face of that little girl in that rural community, in that rural village is really what matters. I'm one of those people who keep saying that representing so many people who don't have anyone to speak for, that's what journalism is all about. With his experience in international affairs, he served as the public relations officer of the Ghana's Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 2005 to 2007. From his humble beginnings, he started as a news anchor in 2003 as a television newscaster and a journalist with TV Africa in Ghana and covered some of the most sensitive humanitarian stories in Africa. Jefferson has reported from over 50 countries including Iran, Russia, Cuba, Ethiopia, Sudan and Haiti in his quest to bring the world to his viewers. life lessons, mingling with people, talking to people, interviewing great men, presidents, prime ministers, first ladies and all that. There is one thing that I've learned that you have to be a good listener. In order to solve people's problems, you should be able to be a very good listener. You shouldn't be seen as a journalist being on one side of, of the story. It doesn't make you a good journalist. You should be able to report objectively. You should be able to tell the stories just as it is without taking sides. Sierra Leone was a country that we love each another. They have painted Sierra Leone as 
a war country for too long. But there was a time everything just wiped off. Just like that, in the air. These guys had no ideological direction. So my passport, my briefcase, my clothes, my everything was dumped. What is it that we have been doing that is wrong? Why are we not managing our natural resources properly? You need to build skills so that this nation can compete with Ghanaians, we can compete with South Africans. A nation where people will love today, a nation where people will, will love to have their citizenship. This is the country, and we are going. Ryzen Sierra Leone. Jefferson Saki report. My mission in Freetown in Sierra Leone is very simple. I was here in 2005, uh, three years after the country's civil war had ended. I saw the destruction in this country, so the mission is just to come back into this same country, meet the same people that I met in 2005, and see the changes in their lives, if any, at all. And I think that what I've seen so far justifies the fact that, yes, a lot is changing in this country. I'm just happy because talking to the people, I realized that they've been able to put the past behind them. They are really forging on. Education is now working. I mean, talking to the students in the Fora Bay University, the very first university in the West African sub-region. My name is Jefferson Saki. I'm today in the Fora Bay University, the very first institution established here, and the very first university in Sierra Leone, and of course, the entire West African sub-region. This is the only country in the whole world that you learned and then you have to use the ferry you cross this long river before you get to the capital free town i mean using the speedboat this time i should say is one of the scariest things that has actually happened to me in my life it's so scary i mean the speedboat just going like that on and on and on and i think that it's fun coming back and seeing the things that i'm seeing in, in freetown in syria the works of jefferson saki has not only spelled out the need for responsible journalism but has also inspired thousands of african journalists to actively get involved in the spreading of human rights awareness it was in 2010 recognized by a journalist for human rights in canada as an ambassador for human rights reporting in 2012 he was awarded the best correspondent at the radio and television awards in ghana i wake up as early as 5 30 a.m um yes i do a little bit of quiet time 10 20 minutes after that i i have a very flexible, I should say, slim body, if I should say, very slim personality, yeah. and it's something I always want to keep, so I do a little bit of exercise and gym. You know, somebody will say, but where is the flesh and all that? But, you know, it's something you just have to keep, you know, because uh, it keeps you shape and trendy at any given point in time. And then, so a little bit of exercise, like 10 minutes, and then I just drive straight to Joy FM all the time, every morning. I'm supposed to report at 7, later 7.15, because you have to be part of the personalities or the journalists who are shaping the day's story you know so various journalists come together we brainstorm and it's very interesting uh, how we do the brainstorming in the studios of joy fm and in the newsroom I like the way you motivate believe in what i do so we go to me so far two kids i okay. should say all of them in toronto in canada with my wife uh, Jefferson and Jalisa, but any time I, I look at them I, and I have time with them in Canada, I get inspired. Leisure times, I play tennis, I'm a tennis player, I mean, that's what I do. Saturdays, I meet with my friends, my colleagues, my relatives, sometimes, but I don't want to mention names, but that's what we normally do, play lawn tennis and video games here and there, of course, I mean, when there are Premier League matches going on, we also you know, have fun with that. I mean, uh, I read I read a lot and sometimes I'm like, yeah, reading is also one of the habits that I've adopted over the years and sometimes when I travel, I make sure that at least I buy one particular book that I, I, can, I can read in a month. I try as much as possible to keep a book a month. And if you ask me, I think some of the books that I've enjoyed reading so far will be In the Eyes of the Storm, uh, a biography of Kofi Annan, uh, the State of Africa by, by Martin Meredith. It's a good book I also love. And um, Wangara Mathai's book. I mean, she's a woman who's actually inspired me a lot, just by the fact that she's no more, if you look at her history in Kenya, and the fact that 
she became a campaigner for good environmental uh, issues, and which of course won her the Nobel Peace Prize sometime. She's one of the few women who's actually inspired our continent. Uh, no two ways about that, I'm inspired by her works. My name is Jefferson Sakin, Freetown in Sierra Leone. Stay tuned, X Live will be right back. There are a lot of people in this country that have money, but I don't know what to do with it. Lego. Entrepreneurship is not about money. A lot of us have talent and a lot of us is great at what we do, but without the business aspect, you will lose. Take it or leave it. X Live. Huh? X Live. <laughs> Well, if you ask me uh, the song I like, I think it will definitely be Sharifa Gunu's song with Sarko Dier. I love that song uh, in Ghana, actually. And Illuminati by Sarko Dier too is one song I like. I just love the video. I mean, very creative on the yeah. desert. I think it's one one great song that uh -huh. I always want uh -huh. to yeah. watch. Yeah, first I'm on Nibi. And the cash abanti, mo be fair me Illuminati. Sorry man, you're lucky. Yeah. On my way to Grammy, now, now. I could join the group who ain't coming pushy Bugatti. Yes. Me, I think it's funny Wait. 'cause I keep on making money. Trading up on the blessings, reflect it is a tsunami. Yes. DJ Mensa, Kesh ni Giovanni. Me, I'm coming from my mission, keep walking through the valley. No. You believe in juju, I believe in power. Yes. Christopher, I'm not doubting ya. Me, we did mo hasa sawa. Ya me came me heaven. I don't have to give up. Mo amu se be di ne muni vim. You better speak up. Me swag, me chemistry, me flow. You're legendary. I'm from home, compare Sarko Dier, 'cause I'm the best you've ever seen. Me style, especially me hustle, me courtesy. My brain, my mojeni, my hustle. I feel more see me illuminate. My advice would always be about being passionate with whatever you do. I mean, you should love what you do. You should always remember that in this world, whatever you find yourself doing, do it with all your heart, because you might not know who is watching or who is listening to you. And uh, it, it takes just the grace of God, right, for things to happen. I do not do anything at all without praying. Uh, any day I go on air, I make sure that I pray every single minute before I do that. God is always the one that inspires me to do whatever I do. You can't succeed in life without God. So if you ask me, that would only be my inspiration to the youth of today. Be cautious about your friends also. It is very important. Yes, make friends, but you should always watch out. At the end of the day, life is important. So watch out what you eat. Relax if you have to. Don't put yourself in a lot of pressure, really. Because, really, life is short like they always say. Always remember God first. Big inspirations. Thank you. Huh?